What's going on everyone? Welcome to World of Reefs vlog here in Longwood, Florida. My name is Jed if you're new to the channel. Uh, we are a small local fish store, saltwater only in Longwood, Florida, uh, right near Orlando. And we started a vlog to show you the day-to-day -day life here at the shop. A little behind the scenes, as you would say, um, of a local fish store because you know a lot of YouTubers in the saltwater industry are strictly hobbyists. There's no real store perspective. So we wanted to start that here so you guys can see when we get shipments, when we go to wholesalers, when we break down tanks, when we do maintenance, because um, it's a very different perspective than the hobbyist. Uh, so this week on the vlog, uh, we cut some shark eggs. Uh, we got a massive, massive fish shipment in. Um, and uh, I guess you just gotta watch the rest of the video to find out what else happened. So I uh, hope you enjoy. UPS. He's got some words coming from me. <laughs> you don't take fish boxes that have arrows on them and clearly say live fish and whatnot and load them up on their side. Yeah. So let's see how this goes, but this is probably our biggest shipment maybe ever. Well, except, for except for our international one. I might have gone a little crazy on this shipment, but you we'll... Think? Hey, relax. But uh, we got some really, really cool things in here, and uh, I can't wait to show you guys, so uh, stay tuned. So it's been about an hour, and we're finally done unboxing. I'm going to start on this side, because that side's really cool. So, <laughs> when I say a lot, I mean a lot. We'll make it work. <laughs> we'll make it work, but there's a lot. Um, we're going to come around. This is our invert system, so using more rasses, dragonettes. And uh, I'm going to cover this next one, pipefish, and da -da 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 -da. bam! Yeah, we got a stingray. So we're going to get these guys dripping, or they are dripping. Uh, going to be a bit, we're going to clean up while we're waiting, and then uh, start putting them into bins, and we'll uh, see We'll see you guys after that, because it's gonna be cramped for sure but uh an amazing shipment i think we only had one doa yeah i think so it was just one that's a really good shipment for the amount of fish that we got only one doa that's fantastic you can't ask for better than that so uh see you guys in a bit just added the stingray there's a stingray got his own not his own he's got a couple of friends in there but we moved all the rocks to the back give him as much sand space as possible that's so cool. There you go. Bro, move. I'm trying to get a video. Oh, alright. So, uh, it's packed. Definitely packed. So, uh, this tank definitely got some new members. Chrome is kind of at him. Cool. Sorry about the cyano in that tank. Doing this fast, we've got a lot of tanks, a lot of fish. Finally got stuff with the gem tank. We have not been able to put anything with here for the longest time, but we just put basically all these fish in at the same time, and she just couldn't do anything about it. So she's gonna be a little stressed because she hasn't really seen another fish for a long time. And she's still going at it, but it'll be better because now this massive naso is in here. And there's the stingray all buried up. Oh, he's buried in now? Yeah, he's good, all buried good, up. Good. I wanted to see him burying, really. Grasses, leopard grasses, melanaris, uh, another solarensis. Ruby reds, red scooter blenny, pipefish. Not a lot, but uh, that just means we have stuff for you guys when you come in, so uh, check us out. Another cool thing we got is Diamond Gobi. No, just kidding. Um, I don't see it, but I saw it buried right here. It is a little flounder. So if you're hungry or you want one for your tank, we have a flounder somewhere in here. Hey me just uh close siphoning the system as you can see 
So close I think is to get all this debris off the bottom, whether it's food that wasn't eaten, poop, seaweed, whatever. Uh, just to clear up the tanks, they're just not sitting in filth all day. seen in our previous video if you haven't seen it yet go check it out um, I got palytoxin in my eye uh, palytoxin for those of you not familiar is the toxin that is inside of zoanthids and the pally family um, so when you're fragging them wear your glasses is pretty much the basis of the story but I want to talk about a little bit about that more for this week's frag fact so zoanthids are little polyps, they, you know, they're pretty popular coral. Um, but anyway, so inside of them, they contain palytoxin. And palytoxin is one of the most deadly and basic, one of the most dangerous substances in the ocean. Um, so these guys produce it inside of them as a self-defense mechanism, basically. But so I got some squirted in my eye last week. Luckily, the, the household zoas that you'll find in pretty much every reef store and probably even in your own tank uh, contain a very minute, diluted amount of palytoxin in them. However, it still sucks. Um, take from my experience of getting it in my eye. It's not a fun process. It does not feel good. Um, so really wear your goggles, protect yourself. Um, I even know people who get on their skin and they get rashes from it. Um, but the household zoos that we have and sell and are very popular in the hobby don't have as highly concentrated of it. So that very, if you ever go diving and go near you know, bridges or different areas where barnacles and stuff like that grows on, you'll see these very bright, bright yellow zoanthids. Those are the ones that contain very, very highly concentrated of uh, palytoxin. And those are the ones that can really honestly kill you. Um, so watch out for those, but the ones that you have in your tank, they're not as dangerous. It's not going to be fun, but uh, I, you shouldn't fear Zoas. Uh, just be per careful, wear protection, and uh, that's your frag fact of the week. So I'm actually leaving the gym right now, uh, but I just want to give a shout out to Tess. Uh, thank you, Tess, for sending in your submission for frag fact. Uh, send them in. If you want to be featured in a video, send in. You doing something creative. Uh, I thought that it was a carousel with glass fish. Like that, that's so cool. Um, that's literally what I'm looking for. That's absolutely perfect. Um, so get creative with it, saying frag fact, and uh, maybe you'll see your face in a YouTube video. Oh my God, the tanks are blue. Ah! Actually, just quick here. Um, see the water, definitely blue. That's what you gotta do when you get a big fish shipment in. This is the stuff here, quick cure. Do it after every fish shipment. Honestly, we do it twice a week as well. Again, like I have said time and time again, we treat these systems like quarantine systems. We want them pristine. We want the fish in the best possible condition. We want everything, everything removed. Quick cure removes flukes like anything these fish are going to bring in that blue color evaporates overnight so all i gotta do is turn the skimmers off for the night let it run its course uh we'll come in the morning hopefully there won't be that much stuff that has fallen off but you never know because it's a big fish shipment they're from the wilds so we run this eliminate any of that and uh you know give you guys the best quality fish as possible so i i'm closing up for the day i totally forgot this uh it's tuesday um, but August 31st, we are having our one year anniversary. Uh, we've been open about a year now, um, obviously. Uh, I understand August 31st is the same weekend as Macna. Um, we can't do anything of when we opened. Um, our one year is our one year. So with that though, I think it's gonna be actually pretty good because people from out of state and even out of the country are gonna be coming to the Orlando area. Um, so as true hobbyists, like 
when you go to a new area, you want to explore and see all the other stores. So I think it's pretty good that we're having our big sale that same weekend. Um, Cause Mac is a whole weekend event. So there's gonna be a bunch of people. Um, so August 31st, our one year anniversary, we're gonna have like food and stuff, but all livestock. You see, it's literally, I'm walking out the door. All livestock, 20% off. That's it. You come in, 20% off. We're not marking stuff down. What you see on that, what you see on the glass, 20% off of that, that's the price. Uh, so just hopefully we will see you guys on August 31st for our one year. All right. We're going to attempt to assist and cut open a shark egg here because it's taken way too long to hatch and he should be ready. Yeah, I've been thinking it was about a week for about two weeks now. So we got to start. I just got to the very see. edge. Yeah, I'm going to see where he's at. He's definitely not there. It's a nice cocoa pod right there. Go up the side a little. Yeah. Very nerve wracking thing. Just gonna peel it from now on. I don't want to, last thing I want to do is cut him. Quick side note that was the first shark egg I have ever cut in my entire life. I'm gonna be brutally honest. I've watched dozens and dozens of videos on how to do so, but that was the first time myself actually doing it. So you can see me struggling with it a lot. Cause I didn't under, I didn't realize that you know you can't really just peel like you truly have to cut through the entire egg. Um, so I struggled with it a little bit. Luckily, I didn't cut him. You know, he was fine. That that part's easy to do because you can see where he is. It's just you have to cut it. So yeah. Very tough material. Uh huh. Not peeling that. Try the edge, just like cut yeah, around the edge, not even putting the blade inside. Like, yeah. Gently around the edges. It's a tough material, isn't it? Yeah, it's a yeah. lot harder than you think, I guess. There it comes. Nope, still need a little more wiggle room in there. Shoot. Cause it's not very bendy, so it's not really like popping him out. It's really got to give more him... solid. Yeah. Than you would think. Damn it. This is what we have just fresh out so you can see he's all balled up because he's super stiff um, so he's got to work his body around a little bit but he's definitely breathing he's definitely got no yoke left on him so, uh, so we'll dim the lights out here now yeah. and give him time so we are gonna do our first comment contest our first contest uh, this week or at least this, the first one, our prize. If you remember a couple of videos back, I took down the 220 gallon aquarium. The prize is gonna be, won't zoom in, but eel. Now this big eel, I did not know he was that big. The guy told me a foot. It's not a foot, it's, it's like two and a half feet. So the winner of the contest very simple. Gets the eel for free, all you have to do is pay for shipping. But you get the eel for free, or you can come into the store and claim him. But it's he's free. If you live in the area, just come get him. If you want him shipped, just pay for shipping. V, question is, where are snowflake eels from in the world? That's it. Whoever is the first to comment it, wins the eel. That's it. First to comment who, where they are from, gets the eel. We'll figure something out on shipping or wherever, but 
you will win the yield. So comment down below. So another video of me just being bored, so I decided to cut the shark egg. No, I'm kidding. I didn't cut the shark egg because I was bored. I cut the shark egg because it needed to be cut. Uh, again, like I said with the other one, I think they should have been out like two weeks ago. There's no yolk. Uh, so I got a little concerned because it's there's plenty of stories where they just die inside the egg. So this is our new baby. Another banded cat shark, still a little balled up, but he's clearly breathing all right. I think this is the one that we did earlier in the video, and that's the one that came out by himself. This one's still got a little yolk on it, so I'm not gonna cut him. But uh, yeah, so now we got three sharks in World of Reef. So if you want a banded cat shark, you know where to find them. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for this week's vlog. Uh, it's Tuesday, so again, I got our invert shipment. Wow, that was really blue a little better uh, most of them are already in the tanks um, we did get a couple fish you know to restock what we sell a lot of so copper bands chromis uh, powder blue danzels uh, so stuff like that is what I usually get with our invert shipment uh, just to refill the tanks because we sell them really fast um, so yeah that's gonna be the end of this vlog remember August 31st is our big I cannot find a good place all right right here August 31st is our big one year anniversary of us opening. Livestock is 20% off, 20% off. I know it's the same weekend as Macna, um, but we figured all it, I mean, it's our one year, so we kind of can't move the date, but also, you know, like people from out of state are gonna be coming to Orlando area. Um, so it's a great way to attract people into the store as well. Uh, so yeah, August 31st, if you're here for Macna, we'd love for you guys to come up and see us as well. Um, but yeah, for, com for now, comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. See ya.